Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Commander Chris, this is Hot Boss Legacy, a quick howdy do before the episode starts. We're really starting to get to the main story now and I know a load of you guys are playing the game. If you are playing the game, uh, take a picture of your character and put it up on the Discord channel. Enjoy the rest of the video folks, take care. Let's have a look at what we got. Ah, oh, right, that's right, because I wanted to go to the... Um, I needed to go to the shop, didn't I? Yeah, I need to empty out my gear. And we can also buy a few things that we need. Um, for the room of requirements a bit later. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Uh, yes, as a matter today? of fact. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I wish there was a sell all button, do you know what I mean? Yeah, sell it anyway. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, so acquire a Maxima and Endurus potions. What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, we'll do it this way then. Okay. Yeah, we've got two talent photos that we need to use at some point. Try and use a focus potion. What can I do for you today? A 
wise decision. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Now we need to go... With you in a bit. Well, we can't get them yet. Okay. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Too many lot bloody doors. I know what you did. Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves. Hand them back. And what that, sir? Cold and hot, and as a slight alcoholic content seems to impact households much more than humans. Hand them back. Sir, it was only the one. That's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times Rebellion. are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? Zonk is a place to buy pranks and jokes. I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll probably get your addiction as goodbye. You just wait till I see your mother. Is there anything we can... Rebellion. Foul loader causing anyone in the city to... Okay, lovely. And that ding is if there's a scroll nearby. Rebellion. There. Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. 
What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Worth knowing. Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. All true. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. She looks a lot younger than she actually is, by the sounds of things. Don't forget, the butterflies Rebellion. always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Three boons, it's long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. And further away. Duration spellcraft, okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, so the thing with the, the this game is uh, indeed your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, shush. You know, this game it gives you like all the forbidden curses, and yes, you can be a bit of a dick, but you can't be evil by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Squash the life out of some leeches while I'm here. They're going to lead us right into some spider den. They're uh, an evolved form of luring poor students into, you know, it's like, oh, look at the pretty butterflies, and then a spider eats you. Do you know what I mean? Well, well. Look what we have here. And that's it. That's literally it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? But no, it just stands right creepy as what it looks. Rebellion. for me about the butterflies hello miss willardy well what happened did you find them they led me into the forest and revealed a treasure oh how lovely i'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts <sighs> perhaps one day i'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest for now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Oh yeah, go for a stroll, love. Perfectly safe. No problem. Rebellion. Ah, oh, dick. There was a scroll real close. Alright, enough of this toss. 
What have we got now? Get the old potions class going and then we're going to go for riding broom six. That was literally it. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. For now. Accio. determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Huh. Well, repetition can be an act. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, you got me in trouble, you Professor dick. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Okay. Now, flying classes. Mm, do we need to take? Oh, not that one. Now we can walk out. I've always said that travel broadens. Don't give a shit what you've always said, love. It's like the center. Right. Oh, not that way. And I know there was um, another side quest around somewhere. Celine Wartnaby, and it's rumoured to be all the remains after she insisted on demonstrating her potential Luma Apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Okay. Now, 
There's definitely one here. I can't believe Black is still there. Oh. He obviously hates oh. the job. Rebellion. There it is. Ah, look at that. Allegedly, the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown, castle unidentifiable. Love it. <laughs> Quite a few hamlets outside of Hogsmeade. Revelio. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Oh, this will take the some getting used are to. school property. I want them Wish returned in own. one piece. Whee! Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? My, my character is such a this next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Down, Div. Up is down, down oh, is up. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, I get it now. Fairly easy once you get used to it. <laughs> this is rather fun. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I oh, right in suspecting wow. that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. The directions take a bit of getting used to. Oh, he can't go through the windows. That sucks. Son of a bitch. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Almery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Dick. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Yeah, well, dick. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa can hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. We're gonna go and do that right now. Would you believe it? It's literally right next door. I do feel like I'm missing out a lot by doing this. Ah, it's about damn time. 
I'll require your assistance with delivery and thought you might be interested. Okay. Please meet me in the 7th floor corridor as soon as you can. I have no idea for some of you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Meet me outside the defense of the court. We need to do that, like, like, in a minute. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Rebellion. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Ah, oh, new space! You clearly let your sprawling models cost for understanding that Abby is working on a number of room enhancements. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. Well, that item is of the highest quality. You can't not get that one on fire, can you? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go on. Ha! Hmm. Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I It'll really be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Rebellion. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm.
Revelio. So how do I use my new broom? Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll keep it. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. better. Alright, Defense of the Dark Arts first, I think. Bingo. We got our first spell for the dark arts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was an accident. I we talk about this. Outside the defense of the Devour Cult's classroom. How nice to see you, my young friend. Ah, that's why. I was thinking, how the hell have I not got that already? Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. Accio! Levioso! Accio! Levioso! Depulso! Brilliant! 
It's going to be that one. Rebellion. I'd much prefer it if everyone could see the same. So one, two. Rebellion. Ah, there he is. It's just out of reach. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Be wide then. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. Have you made peace with the time you've lost? Ah, but I don't truly know how much time I have lost. Without saying more, Perhaps whatever time I've lost was in exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, 
I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. There he oh, is. Hey. I'm literally, you're literally Sebastian. standing on me. It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret Path passage just way. here. It's well Path disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Uncle. Rebellion. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize and that. You've just gone and fucked we it. used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I'm gonna tell him that'll fuck you up. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Oh, can you now? It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target, sir. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast Confringo. is coming to nice Wow, well, that's better. That's it. I think I've got it. Done. Yep. 
That'll do. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. If your sister is unwell, she may not want visitors. Meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. Trust me, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Very well. Let me know when so and I'll meet you. So he's a massive Cheers. dick. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood God damn it. and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. Well, I suppose tough we shit. both Rookwood and Ranrock after you. A bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, was that it? <sighs> Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I'm about to incendio, you little bitch. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian wow, is going to be fearful about this. Oh, I haven't opened that one yet. Five hundred quid, thank you. Now, next. Yeah, I think.
Yeah, because it's the best one, let's be honest with ourselves. Dealing damage to a cursed inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really fussed about that. Ah, that one. God damn it. Oh, what is that one? Yeah, we've still got one teleport left, which we'll keep. Where was the armored one? Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, we'll keep that. 